Hello there and welcome. This is Terry Britton and I wanted to show you this little trick for using Sizer. And I'll bring up its configuration screen. It allows you to load in different configuration sets or setups um, for various different operations that you might do. Like if I'm doing a lot of 12A uh, by 720 stuff, it doesn't make sense to have all of my other setups. Well, as you're going to about to see, let's see. I uh, let's bring up this, then bring up the configuration, and now you see I've got 856 by 480 setups uh, automatically. I, it's as if I as if this had a load button. Now it doesn't have a load button, but you can create the virtual effect by exporting these registry entries that you see here and and then re-importing them by double clicking them so we're going to go to the registry editor and I'll do that by going to the start button and run and here's where it says regedit R-E-G-E-D-I-T you want to load that program in Okay, so there we have my regedit screen. Now where you want to go, I'll walk you through this, is the H key current user. You click on the little plus sign and go down here where it says software. Okay, click its little plus sign and then scroll on down to where Sizer is and click its plus sign. And there you see an item called menu and it has all these various configurations in it. Now I'm going to just hit delete and get rid of the thing altogether and you'll see that now when I go to resize reposition I just have the defaults that came as defaults with the sizer program. Now uh, I happen to have one already made over here that I'm just going to enter in. Now with these Let's say I made a configuration of 1280 by 720s. Okay, and I wanted to be able to save that and export that to uh, my, um, oh, say my, my documents folder. So I could open this up and re enter at any time. What you do is you right click on the key, it's called the menu key. You right click and go to export. And under my documents, you have a bunch of different things here. Uh, I'll kind of borrow from that name, but I change the settings to 1280 by 720. There we go. And uh, set. I don't think I need a true there. Okay, so size are 1280 by 720 set and hit save. Now that set has been saved to my Windows documents folders in my documents. And if I go like that, there you go, and there it is. Now double clicking this will replace um, whatever settings are in there with new ones. Now I have a complete set and I'm going to go ahead and enter in and then bring up the size of configuration and you see it's pretty cluttered because it has so many things in it now if I uh, simply try to replace this with another set that's shorter you'll see what happens let's see let's how about this one and I can just right click on this and show you you see all my 856 by 480 wound up at the top, but these other size ones remained underneath because it'll only replace the keys that that exist with new ones, okay? But it won't delete existing keys. And since there are existing keys in here, I'll show you what I mean in the registry editor. As you see, there's existing keys so you have to come back into the, if you want to start fresh, like I did at the beginning of the video, select the menu thing, 
delete the whole entire key, and then go back to your item, double click it, and you'll see right away the registry editor already shows that you've added these back in. Okay, and consequently, those have become your new keys. So again, you go to Reg Edit, load this up. Go down to H key current user, software, and then down to the sizer. You can, if you want to start fresh, delete the menu key. And then go to your My Documents. Let's say we want to put this back in at 1280. And bingo, you have the uh, just the set that you want. Or if you want a larger set, it, you don't have to go through the process of deleting the menu thing first because it's a larger set, so we'll replace the smaller set plus add some more, as you see here. Okay, once more, saving registry edit, edit, entry settings. You right-click on the menu thing, go to export, and then give the item a name and hit save. Then to reload them back in, you simply double click on them and that sets the new settings. And if you want to start out fresh, go to the registry editor, click on the key and hit delete. Now it's always a good idea to export all of your keys, as a matter of fact, as a safety backup. And you can always do that by right clicking on the My Computer one at the top saying export and that will save all of your registration entries you can give it a date and hit save and it'll take a minute but it'll be uh, it'll have all of your registration entries this is essentially one of the big things that the system restore does for you okay well i hope that's helpful and uh that you are able to save your sizer entries and recall them back in again at will. All right, take care.